Why are the Trent twins getting hated on so much? How's it going, everyone? You're watching Strength Addicts on all social media platforms powered by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark with IML. Visit ironmaglabs.com today. You know, I think it's an interesting phenomenon because it's silly. I mean, quite frankly, it's silly. You know, you've got Sam Sulik who doesn't compete, who has no intention of competing. And, and you know, God bless him. You know, he likes to train. He likes to eat. And he likes to talk to you about bodybuilding. I think that's great. I mean, they get all, all like animated over that. But, you know, um, you know, these guys, you know, the trench wins, I mean, they're doing what Sam won't do. You know, they're doing a prep. You know, and they're they're posing and they're 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 you know dealing with their trials and tribulations, whether that means they have to go do fast cardio or they gotta get a lift in when they would rather be at home sleeping, or that means drinking mustard just to not break your diet, they're doing it. And you got to have a certain level of respect for that. It's a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, money talks and bullshit walks kind of approach, you know, because Sam can talk about all of the stuff he wants to talk about. But until, you know, he's ready to suffer and, and really, you know, undergo a prep and get on stage and pose oiled up in a speedo for a panel of largely old white guys, then you're really not as serious as you claim to be. I mean, you need to be able to pose hard for these old, you know, older gentlemen, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, they've got a table usually with a big black cloth over it, you know, and, uh, you know, and uh, usually, you know, hands are shown. But the thing is, listen, let me tell you something. The Trend Twins, they are really bringing it, you know what I mean? They're bringing it and, uh, and I think they look really good. They've been able to keep a lot of that beef, that size, you know what I mean, that the judges like. And uh, they've also been able to come in with a lot of condition, you know, striations, you know, uh, symmetry, separation, you know. And so, you know, when those judges, you know, really make them work, you know, maybe they have to go an extra round or two. And they're drenched in sweat, you know, and there's sweat droplets all over their perfectly cut up abs. And those judges are saying flex. They have to do it. You know, and these old white guys, they've got to find, I mean, you know, they, you know, they've got to find, I mean, uh, the guy that really embodies what they're looking for, you know what I mean? And it's a hard choice for them sometimes, you know what I mean? It's a hard one, but, uh, but they will find the person that they're looking for. And it's a good thing that the twins are not battling against each other because a divided house shall not stand. So one is doing bodybuilding and one is doing classic physique so that this fraternal alliance does not have to be challenged by onstage battling because that would be silly. In any event, though, you know, I don't understand all the hatred for them. You know, other greats, well, for example, Jason Genova. Jason had to deal with a lot of stress as he got ready for the biggest show in Southern Palm Beach County. Of course, I'm talking about the NPC Ruby Classic. But Jason, you know, he basically had tunnel vision at that point, as well as did Dale, who should have been second that year. And of course, Big Lenny. These guys, you're dealing with an elite level athlete where they have really honestly sort of that, um, that tunnel vision that we were talking about earlier. And, uh, you know, the, the hate doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, a, a break, doesn't permeate through, uh, you know, that membrane. Uh, but, uh, but at the same time, though, you know, as a reporter, you know, as somebody observing, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And it makes me think, listen, if you really want to hate on the Trend Twins, why don't you do something for yourself? Why don't you look within yourself? Why don't you, you know, go to the gymnasium? You know, why don't you go in the kitchen and meal prep? Why don't you pose in the mirror instead of, you know, why are you attacking them? when you should be trying to improve yourself. Again, it, it's one of those things where I just, I don't understand it. It's a weird phenomenon in the sport of bodybuilding. But listen, if we tried to sit here and microanalyze the haters and the trolls and what they were all about and what got their giddy up going, we'd be here till the cows came home and we still wouldn't know what's going on. So all I'm going to say is, is that, uh, you know, I'm happy to see that they were able to really kind of bring it all together. And um, I know the judges are going to make them work on and off stage. They're going to make them work. You know, they're going to make them flex. And uh, hopefully, you know, they get, you know, a good nod. You know what I mean? Hopefully they get a pat on the back. 
And then, you know, they can come back and say that, you know, they did well, that they won a show or they won an overall or now they're nationally qualified because these guys are chasing a pro card. You know what I mean? They're chasing a pro card. They want to be an IFBB pro. They both want to be IFBB pros. They've got their new supplement line, Feral Subs, that just came out, which they say is not a copy and paste supplement line. But I mean, it kind of is because, again, the products that they have, they got a protein powder. They got a pre-workout powder. They've got a pump product that's pretty copy and paste, boys. But at the same time, it's got some cool graphics, you know, and it's all about their lifestyle, you know. So they want a supplement line to use alongside their lifestyle, you know, their whole trend tech, you know, wearing their young LA shirts kind of thing. You know, they, they want that and more power to them. I mean, what's one more supplement company? At the end of the day, they're living their dreams or living their best life. You only live once, YOLO, you know what I mean? You only live once. But what gets me is the level of hate that these young men are dealing with. All they want to do is lift and eat. They want to get in Speedos, get all oiled up and pose for a bunch of largely elderly men. And that's that's cool, man. That's great. They'll get their pro card. It'll have absolutely no impact on their views or how much money they make. And it'll probably be a waste of their time, but they will get it. And that's part of what they want to do. And you have got to respect people that are not about that talk. People that are about that, uh, that are, that are not about that talk, that are about action. You know, they're about action. And, and, you know, listen, anybody can write a check. All right. But uh, a lot of people write checks that their asses can't cash. You know, the trend twins, on the other hand, they're living it. They're not just talking about it like Sam driving around in his car. The trend twins are actually doing it. You know, they're getting in the speedo. They're getting the tan and the oil. They're flexing for the old guys on that panel. They're doing it. And for that, they get a lot of respect. They get my respect. We support them. And who is we? It's me. And of course, Kermit. We both respect the Trend Twins because they're about something. You know, they're not just talking. You know, they're not just talking. You know, they're about something. You look at someone like Jason Genova or Big Lenny. You know, Big Lenny, I mean, you you had not seen a more symmetrical look since maybe, I don't know, Robbie Robinson in his prime or Frank Zane, maybe, but not, but they didn't have the mass that Lenny brings to the stage. So again, I, look, to me, I, look, I, I don't like the fact that they may or may not be promoting but I do respect them greatly, and I wish them the best of luck getting oiled up and flexing and posing in front of those old guys. Because let me tell you something, someone's got to win, and maybe it'll be the Trend Twins, gosh darn it.